Hi Taurus, welcome to your end of July Love Connection reading. This is for July 16th through the 31st. So thank you so much for stopping by. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. And I hope this resonates for you. If you're new, you can check all the uh, description box below. All the information you need is down there about me, readings, anything you need to know is down there. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. And to those who have tipped or do donated to my channel is very much appreciated so thank you thank you so much okay so let's see what's going on between you and another person Taurus this can be anybody you have in mind any kind of connection relationship whatever it is for you we'll see what we get here so I hope everybody's doing well so Taurus this is a zodiac oracle all the decks are also listed below if you would like to know what they are. So with this Zodiac deck here, we will see uh, what kind of energy could be around you for the end of July in love. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Uh, the rest of the, re of the reading may be for you. So if you get a sign, um, a planet, or an element. So for Taurus spirit, please, end of July in love. What could be around them affecting them? All right. And <laughs> we have Aquarius. And I do believe when I did the Aquarius reading, Taurus came out when I did the Aquarius love reading. So if you are indeed dealing with a Aquarius or an Aquarius dealing with a Taurus and you're cross-watching, then this might uh, be for, definitely for you. Or maybe they could have Aquarius as their Venus sign, or uh, maybe just Aquarius heavily in their chart in some way. All right, so this is the Whispers of Love. All right, so I'm only going to get one for the overall energy of your connection, and then I will pull one for you, one for your person, and then the bottom of the deck clarify with tarot and then we'll do some guidance at the end uh, with the, that deck there which is the Mother Mary Oracle alright so for Taurus what is the love connection energy between Taurus and their person what is the love connection energy between Taurus and their person for the end of July spirit please can we have one card for Taurus please one card for Taurus. One card. Wow. And that went flying. <laughs> so we have spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. And we have 27 there. So this could be a connection for you that um, you've had in other lifetimes. Whether it's a soulmate, twin flame, karmic, I don't know. We'll see what we get here. But definitely you've had more than one lifetime with this connection with this person. All right. And you could be spiritually connecting with this person. All right. So let's get one for how you are feeling, Taurus, in this connection with this person. How are you feeling, Taurus? with this person in this connection spirit. Please, can we have one card? One card, Taurus, how they are feeling with this person in this connection in love. All right, one card, please. How I'm feeling that one. The heart of the matter. There is more going on that meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. And we have number 22 here, which reduces to four. The four is about stability. So there may be something going on in the stability of a relationship here. And you have 27 over here, which is nine. And nine can speak of wish fulfillment. It can speak of being a wounded warrior. It can speak of being independent and very stable. And it also can speak of stress and anxiety. So how nine plays out like that, I don't know. 
So let's get one for how your person is feeling, Taurus. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. So maybe your person is reevaluating this relationship if this is something that they truly want. This relationship, you have three, they have three here, which is a social community number. Hmm, I hope it doesn't speak of third party. Maybe they want to explore other options. I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we get here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have 16. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply, simply acknowledge this as true. 16, which is 7. And 7 can talk about confusion. It can talk about deception. It can talk about uh, waiting and having patience. Um, and it can talk about being defensive and on guard. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I feel like there is love in the situation here. What kind of love? I don't know. We will see what is going on in your situation. Um, I mean, this could be a karmic relationship. Um, I think your person may be deciding if this is something that they truly want. Maybe they want to, with the three there, explore other options. And maybe you're realizing that and knowing, you know, with st you know, to get back to the stability of this relationship, there's things that need to be discussed to get to the heart of the matter of things. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, that could just be a message for some. Well, let's see what we get with the tarot. This is the Animal Totem Tarot. All right, so let's see. Why are you feeling this way, Taurus? All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, and that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Eight of Pentacles. That is, you know, you're willing to put the hard work into this relationship. You're, re you're re willing to get to the heart of the matter. You're re willing to work on it. You're willing to do what's needed, and Earth energy here is a very stable, grounded energy. So, and I had felt that with four here. It's about stability. So you're willing to put in the hard work, to invest time into this connection, to bring back the stability. So let's see, why does your person here have back to what you love? The Nine of Cups. So, you know, wish fulfillment here, happiness and joy. Uh, transformation energy here, um, which is coming true. So I think they, they really want to reevaluate here what is best for them, what is really their wish, their dream for them. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here. So we have the Queen of Cups energy, that's water energy. So we have the Magician, which is um, Gemini and Virgo. And then we have the Hangman, which is Cancer and Pisces. So over here, the Queen of Cups is attached to you, Taurus. So I definitely feel like here, no, it doesn't have to be water energy, can just be the energy of the car here. Definitely, I feel like you do love this person because um, you do have love is all around you here. So you definitely have love and emotions for this person. Definitely, I can see here. And that's why you want to put in the hard work, get to the matter of things. And then connecting the two of you here is the magician. So this is manifesting, moving forward, uh, transforming this relationship, um, putting in that hard work. No truth and clarity, stability, love, passion, it's all there. But connected to them is the hangman, which is Cancer Pisces. So they're kind of feeling like they need a little break for some reason. They're kind of thinking and reflecting, you know, what is really best for me? What is my wish fulfillment? Is it this person or is it something else? So they're kind of on a pause, on a break, trying to... Uh, see the bigger picture of things, being enlightened, trying to figure things out. 
but you definitely want to manifest this with this person. You do have love and emotions for this person. I mean, and they, you know, the magician is connecting the two of you. So I think in time they will come to see that, you know, this is probably a divinely guided soulmate connection in some way. Because there is spiritual connection beyond lifetimes in love here, definitely over here. So I don't know, let's see what your advice is, Taurus. So we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. So we, so this is uh, air energy here, Cancer Scorpio, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this is Cancer Scorpio, Pisces with the Ace of Cups. So your advice is, you know, do whatever you need to do to bring happiness and joy into this connection. And, you know, this can be about deception of some kind. And maybe you feel like since this is air energy and your person could be, you know, they did come out as air energy. Maybe you feel like because they're on a pause and a break and really trying to decide what they want, that they're deceiving you in some way. But this is your advice. So I feel like you need to do whatever you need to do here um, in this relationship because... It is a divinely guided love here. Here is the Ace of Cups. So, and I had felt that, you know, this love over there. You have love for them. You want to put in the hard work. And the Seven of Swords can be somebody sneaky or deceptive or, you know, getting away with something. Um, don't let this person get away, maybe, is also what I'm getting. Because this is a divinely guided love here. There is love and emotions here. All right, so let's get, what may the outcome be? The Knight of Swords. So, you know, they're on a break maybe because they have the hanged man on their side. So maybe you need to just step up now and, you know, say, hey, what's going on? Have some, you know, clear, open conversations here. You know, truth and honesty with the Knight of Swords. That's an energy of rushing in. Uh, just be mindful of that, that you don't rush in and cause, like, drama or trouble. Uh, just be wary of that, mindful of that. But there probably is a need here to, you know, step up and step in, take some sort of action to get truth, clarity, conversations going, honesty in this situation. So let's see, let's see, let's get more clarity now. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. So divine luck and timing, things going in a new direction, things going in a better direction, divine timing, um, things turning for the better here with the Wheel of Fortune. So things can turn in a, turn in a more positive direction. Uh, let's see, Seven of Pentacles, so yeah. I feel like you're waiting for them to figure out, you know, uh, what they're going to do here, if they want to continue this relationship or explore other options, because sometimes the nines can represent, they have the nine of cups, a solo energy. So you could be on a little bit of a pause or a break here. And you know, seven of pentacles, that's your energy, earth energy. And that can be an energy of kind of just like waiting, patiently waiting. So I feel like you're waiting for this person. Ace of Swords, and there's the truth and clarity again, air energy. So this is a brand new beginning, a big epiphany, a big uh, conversation, communication, truth and honesty, clarity, cutting out things no longer serving you, any um, anything that was affecting this connection, it wasn't serving that connection, it's time to pick up the sword and cut that out. Also, standing up for what you believe in, the truth truth and the sword of victory here and the high priestess so either you or them could be very intuitive um, a higher knowing here but again you know they could be this is um, cancer or Pisces so but it doesn't have to be so they could be somebody who's kind of like this but yet this is somebody who keeps to themselves they don't really say a lot so I feel like you're waiting for them. They're not saying a lot. They're kind of quiet right now. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. So we have the eight of one. So there's that action and taking movement, fire energy, passionate communication. So, yep. Yeah, so the knight of sword, 
swords rushes in, and the Eight of Wands is kind of an energy of rushing in, fast travel, action, communication, passionate messages. So, you know, maybe time to, you know, just confront this person, have some conversations, the Four of Wands. So this is a Twin Flame card. So you definitely could be connected to a soulmate Twin Flame energy here. And this is about the home and the stability. And you had four come out for your card there, which I believe you want to work and get the stability back in this relationship. So this is a commitment. could be marriage. It could be long-term commitment, the home, um, and the foundation, and the stability back in this connection. So we have the four of pentacles again, which is about stability. So you know you're holding on to this person. This is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You know, holding on to this person and not letting go, um, letting go of this connection at all. Holding, holding on and holding back. They could be holding back from you as they're thinking about things here too, but um, not wanting to let go of this connection. And then you have the sun. So there can be a lot of happiness, success, Leo energy here. Doesn't have to be success, victory, joy happiness, growth, expansion, enlightenment, happy home and family life, everything positive here with the sun energy. And again, double confirmation here with the six of wands, fire energy again, of success and victory, accolades, being very victorious in this connection. Wow. So, yep, this can be a very victorious connection. Um, I think maybe you may have to just confront them and have some open, honest communication with this person. I think maybe they're unsure of this connection, but you are very sure. All right, so let's get some advice with this deck here for you. Taurus. So okay, we have one card advice for Taurus with a love connection for the end of July. Okay, we have one, one, here we go. Our Lady of Soul Birth, number five, and five is about change. So I do believe something has to change uh, in this connection. Um, have to breathe like a rebirth into this connection. Um, I think your souls could be connected. You got spiritual connection here. Um, so you, you not only spiritual, but your souls could also be connected. As with you know, we have the twin flame card there. Definite soulmate twin flame energy here. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Our Lady of the Whispering Heart number two. So two is about two people coming together in some way, shape, or form. So yeah, so your hearts could be whispering to each other or, you know, that's about, you know, opening opening your heart chakra, opening up to love. Um, maybe they're having a hard time opening up to you in this connection. Um, maybe you just need to whisper, you know, words of love into the air. Maybe, you know, they need to hear things that you haven't said, maybe. Um, so, yep, yeah, I really think uh, some communication is needed here. May need to uh, really communicate with this person. I would say persuade, but I, I don't know. That, that, that just doesn't seem like the right word to say. <laughs> but I definitely feel like you're sure of this connection, but right now, they, for some reason, they're not sh so sure. So, but I think by you, you know, really stepping up to the plate here and um, saying how you really feel, having some open, honest communication with this person could change this whole dynamic. All right, Taurus, so, you know, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly um, love in general, so don't miss out on that. 
and good luck to you in your uh, love connection here sending you many light love and blessings and as I always always say with my channel as with the Sun energy where was the Sun we have the Sun somewhere here oh right here <laughs> in front of me duh as I always say with the Sun energy here with my channel is to always always shine your light <laughs>